I just swallowed some weed. Have I ever met Easy? Come on, bruh. Yes, I'm from Caution, man. I know every nigga from Bone Thugs we was on tour with them. So just because, you know, Cube and Easy, y'all thought they was mad at each other. Them niggas was rich. They was sending their artists on tour with each other, and niggas wasn't mad at each other, man. Niggas had too much money to be mad at each other. They just wasn't working with each other no more. That's how this shit go. Like Mace and Cameron. All oh, this shit is just a plight for them niggas to do an album together. You, oh, you didn't know? Tom Wiley on the whole Tupac estate. That's crazy. Fucking white man on the Tupac estate. Is that true? Or are you just throwing that out there like, are you sure about that? The realest rapper I've ever met. I mean, I don't understand. It would have. I would have to say Tupac, but I wouldn't associate him with being real. That nigga was authentic. Real is just some shit that go good in a rap. Real is some shit that niggas say in the barbershop. Real is a nigga that niggas holler out they motherfucking El Camino at other niggas when they riding down the street. Keep it real, nigga. Real ain't real, nigga. Real don't mean nothing no more. Because it's all about the intent and the action. You feel me? Because most of these niggas I keep telling you that you think is real, nigga be hooks, my nigga. Straight Hook Wilson. Hook Wilson. You feel me? You put him in the right situation, it's going to bring that hoe up out them niggas. What up, Chief? Yeah, it's going to bring the hoe up out, niggas, man. You put them in the right situation, there's very few niggas that's going to go down with the shit, my nigga. And that application process is a motherfucker. Hey, you! Turn the heater on! It's cold as a motherfucker in this motherfucker. Yeah. Niggas be Hook Wilson around this motherfucker, my nigga. I'm only going to speak the real, baby. You feel me? That's why these niggas hate me. You know what I mean? That's why they can't stand me. You feel me? You don't see none of these niggas bringing me on tour with them. They love me. The only nigga that really, really fuck with me is Tech 9 On some real shit. I'm talking about, like, I feel like everybody should be fucking with me. You feel me? But my nigga San Quinn... But it's very few niggas besides and my nigga and Pacino. You feel me? But it's like everybody else. I don't know if you fuck with me or not. You feel me? Because every time I'm really on, niggas be hella standoffish. But when I, you know, when I be fucked up, they be wanting motherfuckers to see a nigga fucked up. You feel me? But when a nigga super on, man, I ain't seen these niggas in years, bro. <laughs> Ever since I got the Arizona Ice Tea deal, nigga, niggas been staying away from Gonzo like the like a plague. On <laughs> my mama, you feel me? But it is what it is. I love him, no less. You know what I mean? I can't. Uh... It's cold in here. Turn the heater on. Yeah, niggas, niggas will change up on you. Niggas will swear that they love you. I want to see it, though. You feel me? I don't want niggas <coughs> making, you know, rest in peace Gonzo or free Gonzo. Nigga, fuck all that. Show me that love on the street, nigga. You know what I mean? But motherfuckers will do more talking about you. You feel me? To other motherfuckers. More talking about you 
what you what you ain't doing, you feel me? Opposed to trying to correct the problem or enhance your motherfucking stature. Like right now, I got a, a, a nice little wave. Motherfuckers be, nigga, let me tell you something. Every time one of my niggas had a wave, I was right there, front and center, my nigga. Front and center, on the front line, with anything, hooks, bringing my niggas in for beats, <laughs> verses, whatever. My street niggas in so niggas could go to the club and, you know, do what niggas do and, and not be worried about, you know what I mean? John Strike on here right now. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And that's my, and that's another thing I want to talk about. Y'all niggas gotta step y'all hood game up too. I don't give a fuck if you just from, like nigga, we all from somewhere. Don Strike, that nigga of blood. You feel me? From Pasadena. I'm from LA. I'm a crip. Nigga, that's my nigga. So here's the thing. Y'all niggas gotta step y'all, y'all crew game up, my nigga, cause if your crew ain't really solid, nigga, like, I don't know, like, niggas be having niggas around them that, you know, I don't know. But I know when niggas is real, when niggas is from everywhere. Because, you know, if niggas are from one hood, I know you niggas about to tell on each other. You feel me? I know you niggas really ain't getting no money together. Niggas ain't really getting no money. Y'all ain't really busting it down. Yeah, I mean, you niggas is just waiting to tell on each other. When you see a nigga, you know, and niggas is from everywhere, niggas got the potential to get money. Niggas got the potential to get money. You know what I mean? When niggas hang around each other and they be from everywhere and ain't getting no money together, they just ain't seen it yet. But when they wake up, nigga, that shit gonna start rolling. I'm telling you. Fuck with your niggas, man. You gotta trust somebody. You know what I mean? You can't just be standing around and competing with your niggas, man. Like, when, when you got a crew, nigga, you got to go get the money. You feel me? Fuck going to the club. Fuck doing whatever you, you're doing to fuck off, nigga. Go wherever you're going to get the money at and stay there, nigga. You know what I mean? Don't do nothing but leave the eating shit and come right back to it. You know, type shit. Man, we all know pop set trends. Who I think killed Tupac? Man. It's, it would be so, I, it, you know, let, let's just be clear. If I was the government or if I was the powers of be, I would want to get Pac out the way. I would want to get his little ass out the fucking way. You feel me? If I was Puffy, I would want to get Pac ass out the way. Now, with all the affiliation with Puffy and the South Side niggas, you know what I mean? That kind of makes you wonder. You know what I mean? It was the perfect opportunity. I don't know. You know what I mean? But then it's like, if them niggas was really, you think, bro, if them niggas was really on a move like that for Puffy, why would this nigga Orlando Anderson show his face all on camera in the casino and all that type of shit? You know what I mean? That would only happen if he was paid by the government to, you know, on some conspiracy type shit. And like I said, what I seen on with, with BG Knock, you know, that nigga was homies with BG Knockout. So him and being conspired by the government and all that shit, that goes out the window. That theory right now, I'm not even on that no more. You know what I mean? Because I already know. Any nigga that know BG Knockout, he not fucking with the government. Period. Like, not on no conspiracy and all I would have knew. I would have known about it. I would you know. What I mean, I would have. I would have. I would have found out about that. So that's out the window. You feel me? I think, man, Pac might have just got caught up, nigga, in some regular L.A. street shit. 
that was just coincidental. You feel me? Like, I don't know. It could have just been that type shit. Because, you know, this nigga's all in the MGM, nigga. Like, he came to Vegas to kick it, nigga. It's fight weekend. He wasn't tripping on them niggas or scared of them niggas. Or, he was by himself. You know what I mean? He was by himself. And what I seen, I seen this nigga saying something to them niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this Tupac, this nigga chilling. Like, he, you know, a popular little nigga in the hood. So he out there chilling. Nigga don't come to the MGM fight weekend to fight people. You know what I mean? I don't know. Not like that. You feel me? You coming to fight somebody, you going to come thick with, with, with all your partners. You feel me? You know you know they out there. So, you, if, you know, I'm not, I'm thinking that, you know, he was caught off guard. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, hell no. That's, I mean, I don't know. And I, one thing probably led to another, my, my guy, but this is just my thoughts. You feel me? This is my, that's just my thought. You know what I mean? I, that's what I think. You know what I mean? But who am I? I, I wasn't there that night. <clears throat> Man, nah. Pac and Orlando should never have been fighting in the first place, my nigga. Period. If the right niggas would have been there, Pac would still be alive today. Because niggas would have kept going. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Suge was a, was a kid in the mind or something. Now, let's put this in perspective. You talking about the biggest artists on the planet... What are you talking about? What are we even talking about here, bro? You feel me? Like, man, listen to me. Suge had the biggest artist on the planet, but Suge was still moving with an adolescent mind. All that shit was exciting to him. You know what I mean? All that shit with Puffy and all that shit. Man, and I'm not going to say if, I'm going to say when I'm at the helm and running a situation like that, it's going to be about the money and the, and the music, man. The money and the music, you know what I mean? Anything else that needs to be handled, man, will be handled, I'm sure, but y'all won't hear about it. Like, this shit got to get back to what's important, but... Losing a motherfucker like Pac or losing a motherfucker like Biggie over some Suge Knight shit and me knowing the intelligence of this nigga? Nah, man. Nah, oh, man, motherfucker's just not intelligent. But it seems like Jimmy Iovine and, you know, Tom Wiley, they, all, they put those type of people into position because they know that they could... You know, it's like chess. Why would you want, you know, why would they put a, a formidable opponent across the table from them? They're not going to pay a formidable opponent to sit across the table from them and be partners with them. They're going to pick somebody that's dumb as a motherfucker, that they know that they could checkmate them at any time. So, you know, all this shit makes sense to me, man, now that I'm older, you know what I mean? But when I was enthused by it, and I was an ignorant kid, you know what I mean, in the shit, thinking that that was what it was about. That shit ain't what it's about. It's about, nigga, waking up across the street from the beach, you feel me, letting your kids play. You feel me, and, 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 and do what they want to do, how they want to do it, you feel me. It's about li really living off your motherfucking royalties, bro. You feel me? Feel me and keeping those guys, you know, that shit is. I respect Jimmy Iovine, and I respect Ted Fields. You feel me? You want to know why I respect them? Because this shit is about business, man. This is what everybody keep forgetting. This shit is business, man. You can't get personal. It ain't nothing personal in business, man. And this entertainment shit. It's business. 
That's it. But everybody wants to bring.